안녕하십니까 김경원입니다. 네. Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim Kyung Won. This is online surgery for you. This is the case of the day. This is 40-year-old male patient. There is no special medical history. The patient came in because there are two teeth missing in number 37 and 47. In the case of number 47, it has been a couple of months since extraction. And as for number 37, extraction was done approximately one month or one month and a half ago. This was at initial visit. CT was taken in number 47. Healing has occurred somewhat on CT. It looks almost six months since extraction and there's no major problem here in placing implant. As for number 37, the extraction socket is not fully healed. Looking at CT, the extraction socket is not fully healed and on the lingual side, the cortical side is slightly high and buccal side is a bit resorbed. Rather than doing both sides at the same time, the patient had a little bit of fear of surgery. The patient wanted to do number 47 first. Guide was used. One guide was designed for number 47. KS3 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was planned. There's not going to be major issue. Implant placement is going to be done. KS3 BA surface diameter 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant will be placed at the time of implant placement. The primary stability was sufficient over 30 newton centimeter and ISQ was 75, so quite favorable. Post-op image CT. As planned, implant has been positioned. Healing abutment is connected in number 47. A month has passed since surgery. It's been approximately three months since extraction on number 37. The patient agreed to the implant placement. In number 47, BA surface implant was placed. We're waiting for prosthesis delivery here. And in number 37, soy implant is going to be placed. Position is going to be secured using one guide. The extraction socket is not fully healed, so I plan for placing the implant a bit deeper. In the case of soy surface, it is good for dealing with blood clot. I anticipated good healing within the extraction socket. I did not plan for bone graft. Immediate post up number 37 KS3 soy surface 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was placed. At the time of placement, primary stability was over 30 newton centimeter and ISQ value was approximately 76. Healing abutment was connected. This is immediate post-op CT image. There is no major problem. Additional bone graft was not done. In the case of this patient, number 37 and 47 were missing. Number 47 in October 2021, KS3 BA surface of 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was placed, and after two months in number 37, KS3 soy surface 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was placed. Bone response was good for soy surface, so after one month since surgery in January 20th, digital scan body was used to take a digital impression. As for number 37, ISQ was approximately 80. This is one month after surgery. In number 47, ISQ was 82, and this is three months after surgery. After one week, ER type prosthesis was provided. After one month since surgery in number 37, scan body was used to take digital impression and prosthesis was delivered as shown. In number 47, prosthesis was delivered after three months since surgery and in number 37, even though it was an extraction socket, I used a soy surface. Therefore, after one month since surgery, ISQ was measured. Result was satisfactory and therefore, prosthesis was delivered. Number 47 and 37 ER type prosthesis were delivered. This is in occlusion. 
The surgery itself was not too difficult. Let's look at the surgical video. First, I'm placing the one guy template to adapt it. I'm going to do surgery number 47 first. I check the adaptation. There were sufficient to attach to gingiva, therefore tissue punch was used for surgery. Wide type tissue punch was used. In number 47, gingiva is being removed. Template is removed. I'm checking whether the gingiva has been removed properly. As you can see, the punch is not thoroughly done. Tissue punch is going to be used once again to remove the gingiva thoroughly. One guide template is positioned. Initial drill is going to be used for drilling. Wide type gold rim initial drill is used. Initial drilling was done. Full length drilling is done. If it does not go in properly, you can use flattening drill. Initial drill is complete sufficiently. 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used. Pumping action is used to minimize heat generation. 3.5 by 10 millimeter drilling is done. 5.0 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used. KS3BA surface 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant is being placed. This is a hydrophilic surface, so you need to irrigate it sufficiently using cell line. The implant is placed about 80% using engine and after that implanted driver is used, torque wrench is used to get the final position. Template is adapted and so that it goes in properly. Primary torque is about 30 newton centimeter. You need to check whether the yellow slot is proper before you close the case. To measure ISQ, smart peg is connected. ISQ value is approximately 75, so it's favorable. Healing abutment is connected. 5.0 by 5 millimeter healing abutment is used. This is the surgical video of the other side. This is the same one guide template is adapted to check whether the guide fits properly. Tissue punch is used to remove the gingiva. Template is removed to check if the soft tissue is thoroughly removed. One guide template is repositioned. Initial drilling will be done. In order to minimize heat to generation, pumping action is done. If you look, I plan for placing the implanted deep 
So initial drill, it doesn't go in full length. In this case, you can use flattening drill to prep the superior part. Flattening drill is used and check whether it's full length of drilling. And then I'm going to do initial drilling once again. You need to do initial drilling in full length. You can see that it is going in full length. If initial drill does not go in fully, you can use flattening drill. 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used. 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill. Pumping action is used. This is a 5.0 by 10 millimeter one guided drill. Drilling is done. KS3 soy implant. Soy implant is slightly irrigated, therefore I place it with caution. I place it 80% with engine. After that, I use implant, driver, and torque branch to adjust the final depths. I make sure the template is in position and you can see primary stability is favorable. Over 30 Newton centimeters. It's sufficiently in. You can see that yellow slot is perfect. Template is removed. ISQ value is going to be measured. It's about 76. Healing abutment will be connected. Although this is an extraction socket, it's not fully healed, but in the case of soy surface, the blood clot can be managed properly so it can heal nicely after one month. ISQ value was measured and prosthesis was delivered. I showed you how I used one guide to place implants in number 47 and 37. As for number 47, KS3BA surface implant was placed in the case of number 37. The extraction socket was not fully healed, but KS3 soy surface implant was used. And ISQ value was measured after one month, and because it was favorable, the prosthesis was delivered. In the case of Austin's KS system, it has a better durability, and therefore KS system was placed in number seven on both sides in lower posterior. Implants were placed on one side, BA surface was used, on the other side, soy surface was used. Osteo integration occurred nicely, and you could see that through the surgical clip. Thank you for watching.